everyone thank you for joining me I have got a brand new paper crafting technique for you using something I can almost guarantee that you will have at home um, and I can't imagine you use it in your crafting stash very often at all I absolutely love this background effect if you love distressed looks if you're always looking for mixed media techniques this one is definitely for you and the best thing is it actually has a softness it has tactile, tactile ability is that a word it's tactile it, you know you can stroke it the people who receive it are going to absolutely love it as much as you enjoy creating it so what we're going to need is some embossing ink some embossing powder some colored inks now these need to be water-based um, but with these I've got my spray stains um, you can absolutely use any sort of watercolor whether it's watercolor paint for example or something like that then you're going to need a heat tool as well anything that you usually use when you're heat embossing so something like a heat resistant mat if you use something like tweezers or something to hold your cardstock still those sorts of things as well don't worry about your anti-static bag for this one the last thing that you are going to need is cotton wool yep there's cotton wool so grab your supplies and let's get making so I'm going to do this on white cardstock first of all for you then I'm going to do it on black cardstock as well for a totally different look it's amazing because the colors of the sprays really pop on the black cardstock which we don't often get with black so first of all we're going to take our embossing ink now I'm going to do this on a decent sized panel of cardstock and the best thing about this is you don't need to be precise there's no accuracy to it you really can just chuck your ink on uh, we'll chuck our cotton wool on as well when we get to that stage we'll chuck our inks and colors on we will be really relaxed about it and we will just enjoy the inconsistency and the unpredictability of the results because you are going to get different results every single time so I've just pressed clear embossing ink all over my cardstock and I'm now going to also sprinkle this with a clear embossing powder now and once you've done this technique once or twice have an experiment with different colored powders as well to see what other effects you get so just tapping my powder off onto a piece of black cardstock there again as I said I'm not being precious about this I'm not worried if I've missed a few spots with my embossing on my cardstock it's only going to add to the effect now we can heat this and this is where you need to be prepared and you need to work reasonably quickly so I've got my cotton wool to hand and I've pulled it apart these were cotton wool balls I've just unraveled them and pulled them apart so they're as flat as possible um, as fluffy as possible as well so not clumped together too much so I've got those there I'm going to start heating and don't worry about this if it takes you a little while to get into the knack of doing this because you can always reheat your embossing powder and remelt it so as we melt our powder and this just takes a little while for the heat the gun to heat up to warm up enough to melt the powder but once we start to see it melting it just starts to go glossy there I'm going to work on about um, a square inch at a time so I'm going to make sure I've got about a square inch melted it's gradually getting there I'm going to take a little bit of cotton wool keeping the gun there for a second I'm going to take some cotton wool and I'm going to press that into the embossing while it's melted then I'm going to move on now do not worry you're not going to melt the cotton with your heat gun okay so I'm moving on to the next area the heat gun is near the cotton wool that I've already put on there don't worry about it you're not going to have any effect on it so just keep going and working along melting an area pressing the cotton wool in as you can see there I missed that bit so I'm going to remelt that press that in don't worry if bits do not stick just move on there's going to be areas that won't stick there's going to be areas where, that really stick well press it in okay don't try lifting it up yet we're going to let it cool before we pull it away so just work your way around the entire piece of cardstock or paper whichever you have obviously there's a disclaimer here um, this is hot the heat guns hot the melted uh, embossing powder is going to be warm please use tweezers if you don't want to burn your fingers um, you there's lots of protective elements out there that you can purchase so that you don't burn yourself whilst doing this
once you've got your cotton wool all over I like to just warm through everywhere like so and then just take a scrap piece of cardstock or fold over your rubber mat and just press that all down just for a moment obviously be wary this could be quite warm as well okay now for the fun part this has all cooled down make sure it is cool if it's not cool then you could be uh, pulling up the embossing as well and you don't want to do that so now we're going to start gently pulling away at the cotton wool so some areas will stick some areas won't some more than others really depends on how thick your embossing was so I think I've got a patch there that didn't have any embossing powder on it that's fine doesn't matter I'm going to have uh, varying results every single time so first of all pull up the excess pull up the larger pieces there we go and then start working at pulling up the smaller pieces now all of this you can save I'm bunching it all together and I'm going to use it next time I do this technique so you're never wasting any of this cotton wool and cotton wool so expen inexpensive as well um, so it's really good to use up things that you've probably got around the home there we go so I've pulled up lots you can keep going and going and going uh, pulling up obviously the more you pull up and pull away from the heat embossing the less color is going to hold now I know I've got a couple of patches here so there's one there one there and one there that haven't got any cotton wool on but that's going to show the variation that's going to show you what this would look like without the cotton wool as well so popping this to the side because I want to keep that nice bright and white now I'm going to bring in my inks, my spray stains, my watercolours, whichever that may be. And I'm merrily going to go away and start spraying or adding ink to this. I'm also going to bring in my water spray as well, just to help these mix together a little bit more. And essentially what should happen is three things where you've got clear embossing that the cotton wool has not stuck to that should remain quite white where you've got paper that the heat embossing didn't stick to that should take a little bit of the color the stain the watercolor where you've got the cotton wool that's going to soak up that color and really hold on to it so you're going to get three different types of sort of shades of color there now I'm going to lift off the excess now so we can reveal this beautiful background look at that that's gorgeous I love 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 that so I would say don't go ahead with your heat gun and try to dry that off because of course you've got embossing in there you're going to remelt your embossing so I'm going to pop that aside to dry I'm going to wash my fingers up let that dry clean up my workspace and we'll come back and have a look at how that looks when it's dried there we go all clean and that is the end result isn't that beautiful and like I say that is soft and fluffy as well so you've kind of got that additional extra feature to it go and take a little while to thoroughly dry this is just touch dry at the moment uh, the cotton wool takes a little bit longer than paper does to dry so make sure you pop that aside don't use it I can actually see some roses in there I could take a pen and I could probably draw myself a couple of roses and the flowers in the blue uh, really really stunning okay now let's see what this technique looks like on black cardstock so I've got myself a piece of black here and I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to make sure this time that I'm putting lots and lots of cotton wool and embossing ink on here because I'm going on to black the black is obviously going to show through that's what we want but we are going to get some beautiful results that you wouldn't usually get on black cardstock because usually black cardstock just isn't going to hold on to color particularly if you're using a water-based ink um, and not a pigment if you're using a dye ink that's just going to soak into the black which is never ideal so let's sprinkle with clear embossing and like i say have a go as well with different colored embossing powders they could be really good fun as well
so that just needs to cool down so I'm just going to press that in make sure everything's pressed down without burning my fingers and then allow that to thoroughly cool now I did try putting the cotton wool on with tweezers but I just found I didn't have the precision that I needed uh, I wasn't able to really press it down into the embossing so I went back with my fingers but you can get um, sort of heat resistant uh, finger protectors particularly for use with hot glue guns they might be handy in this instance so I think that's all cooled down now if you feel the back of your cardstock and you can't feel any heat coming out of it I think you're ready to go so let's start pulling this off and you don't really need to be gentle with this unless of course you're not sure if your um, if your heat embossing has cooled thoroughly if you're sure it's thoroughly cool there's no way you're getting going to be pulling that embossing off so don't worry just pull at the cotton wool I would start with the largest bits first and then I go back in and be a bit more precise because by doing this as well you're kind of opening the cardstock up to the air and it's going to any bits in there that might still be warm are going to now cool down because it hasn't got that thermal property that the cotton wool was kind of offering it and keeping it warm so then pulling on the surface obviously for this uh, I know there's different types of cotton wool you want cotton you don't want anything that's got polyester in it and nylon anything like that anything that's got resistant kind of materials most of the time cotton wool will just be cotton wool but there might be other alternatives out there um, that you find so definitely go for the cotton 100% cotton ones there we go so just pull again see I've still got a good handful of cotton wool now I'm just going to brush that all down nice and flat and by doing this you actually get some little clumps together as well you may like or dislike that effect have a play as you can see I'm getting some stringy bits here and I'm kind of going to leave them like that it kind of looks like um miss that cobwebs but anyway let's add some color now I wanted this to look a little bit sort of like uh, metal so I'm going to bring in some distress mica spray again it's water based so it's not going to um, show up on anything except really the white this one almost looks camo like uh, it's really cool I uh, just think that's brilliant you can obviously switch up the colors I think rather than the green I should have stuck with the patina and the bronze and gold colors but I think it looks awesome anyway and you're going to get like I say a different result every time there you've got the black coming through and that one you've got the white coming through uh, and there's a different one again this was the first one I tried this one I used selfish patina and the bronze spray on white cardstock for a different look so I hope you found this useful everybody just another tip for you is if you don't want to use heat embossing try general adhesive I've actually used here a uh, just a double sided tape I stuck the cotton wool to it peeled it off and then uh, spritzed and lifted off the spritz and of course it clung on to the cotton wool more so and then it eventually bled into the paper as it dried uh, but that's really fun if you want some distressed stripes or strips across a piece of cardstock to create your own backgrounds I hope you have some fun with this uh, I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and you like techniques like this and you'll find more videos and I think you really like this one on my channel just here thank you everybody take care I'll see you soon